20, 25 years from now, you're going to want to say, I was there when Ken Griffey Jr. made his home debut. So don't forget that on Monday night. There's a drive into the gap in left center field and deep left center field, and Henderson's not going to get to it. It's off the base of the wall, and Griffey to second base in his first major league at bat, a ringing double off the 375 marker, and we have seen that all spring. Welcome to the show, Ken Griffey Jr. High fly ball, well tagged this time, and Junior going back to the track. The wall makes the leap and makes the catch. Amazing catch by Junior as he takes a home run away from Luis Gonzalez. My, oh my! Perfect timing, and Junior receiving a standing ovation here. Here's the 0-2. Swung on, there goes the deep left. It is high, it is far, it is gone. He's done it again. From Flushing, Queens, baseball from the home of the Mets, City Field. Tonight, game two of this three-game series between the Miami Marlins and the New York Mets. It's Mets baseball next on the show. Matt Harvey gets the ball for the Mets in this one. What's your take on him, H? Well, I look at his stat line, Matt. I look at his whip, and it's just above league average, and that tells me he struggles just a little bit this year. If he can keep runners off the base pass and not pile up a lot more than maybe the one or a little bit above an inning, then he's got a chance to win. So keeping the traffic limited is the key to his success in this game. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? And this will find its way to the 335 sign. And the Marlins have something cooking. It's a leadoff double. Now that is the way you want to start a game on the In road. The he comes out time. swinging and stands at Center second Hilder. as the first Christian base runner of the night. Yellen. Now we'll see if his teammates can pick him up and if they can punch first. Standing in, Christian Yelich. As you get a look at his current righty lefty splits entering play in this one. He's set. Here's the three and two. Fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it, one gone. With that, a look at the batting order for the Marlins. What do you think they need to do to keep this winning streak rolling, Harold? key to me is, is driving in runs. Their runners in scoring position, they've been really struggling. I mean, you don't have to hit home runs, but pick up that runner that's at third base with less than two outs. Hit the ground ball and drive him in. Just the little things, and as they continue to add on, inning by inning, before you know it, you put together a good game. That's what they got to do. Slider, and he touches 90 with that one. It's one and two. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Ready with another 2 2. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Now, after back to back strikeouts, he's got a real good chance of making that leadoff double pretty much meaningless. He's made some good pitches, and these hitters have really failed driving him in or at least getting him over. At the plate, Justin Bohr. He currently sits seventh in the National League and runs batted in, so a good guy to have at the plate in this situation. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. There's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. This is in the air out to left field. Cespedes is there and the inning is over. So they get a man to second here in the top half but he's stranded there. And now the Mets offense will go to work for the first time. No score. Tom Kohler, a right-hander from the Empire State, gets the starting assignment here. Dan Fleezak, what do you got? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has? That gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties. And if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes. His lifetime line against Tom Kohler, he's got five base hits in 16 tries. 
He also has one home run. Trying to shave that outside corner with the fastball, and he missed it. It's three and one now. This Marlins ball club, Harold Reynolds, as they begin play here tonight. They come in riding a five-game winning streak, and they've really got things clicking. Look out. They're starting to put it together. When you get to this territory and you start moving into a week of solid baseball, that's a club starting to come together. I'm looking at one right now. A runner at first with no outs here. Just stand alive, putting together a really good at bat here. He'll try it again, three and two. And he won't have to contend with a throw as that misses for ball four. First and second now to start the inning. Batting third. Here now is his dribble Cabrera. He brings an average in the 260s into this one. None out, runners at first and second. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. Matt, in last night's game, this is the situation right here. They didn't do a very good job driving guys in with runs in scoring position. Right here, you got a guy in scoring position. You got to capitalize and drive in. If you swung at a bad pitch last night, get a good pitch to drive right here. The three-one pitch. And that misses. Ball four, and he's going to need to settle down in a hurry now because he's in a peck of trouble. I think he was trying to be a little too Batting fine four. there, and a walk is Left the result. Fielder. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news, a single probably drives in a couple of runs. Stepping in, Joanna Cespedes. Good opportunity for him to add to his season RBI total here, which sits third best in the National League. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now. On the ground is short. This could be two to Gordon for one on the first and it's a double play though that first run of the ball game is across the score. A base is loaded. Last thing you want to do is round into a double play and that's just what he does. One run scores, but you don't get an RBI in that spot. That's a rally killer. Stepping in now, Wilmer Flores. Called strike over the outside part of the plate. Working for the punch out and the offering. Hit on the ground to third. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. So they scratch across a run here on no hits, no errors, and a man left. We'll go on to the top of inning number two. It's the Mets one and the Marlins nothing. Here's Marcelo Zuna. First shot for him here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. Two strikes now from Harvey. And this is fouled into the seats over from first. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. And he misses there, one and two. I like the high fastball, 0 oh and two. Now I know he's sitting one and two, but you showed him a great fastball. Now he's got to honor that, and you can set him up with anything. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. In this day and age, when teams are moving all over the place playing the shift, these guys are old school, very traditional. You don't see the shift applied very often to this club. In now, JT Realmuto, career numbers against Matt Harvey, six for 15. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. Tried to hold back, but this is popped up. Throw too late to get him at first. Not a thing of beauty, but it's an infield single nonetheless. That's the seventh game he's hit in. Look Martin out. Seven games. That's one week of feeling pretty good. Let's see how long he can make this last. Martin Prado now. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. And there he goes towards second. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. 
And he's able to reach down and put this one away. Great concentration there for the second out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. So striding in, Adani Echevarria. The average for him entering play sits down in the 250s. Here's the 0 and 2. Sent on the ground out to second. Scooped up on the backhand. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. One left for Miami. They trail this one one to nothing. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. And a quick glance at the numbers will tell you it's been a huge struggle for him at the plate this year. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Two strikes. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Oh, he might have got away with one. A two strike breaking ball that ended up being in the zone. I think he probably won that out of the zone, but fortunately, he just fouled it off. High in the air out to center field. Yelich able to take this one in, and there's your first out. All right, time for Majestic defensive alignment for the Marlins. And I want to talk about a Danny Echeverria. This guy gets overlooked in this day and age, the generation of the shortstop in the major leagues. His name very seldom gets called up. If it wasn't for a few other pretty good players at short, he'd be winning the gold glove every year. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. The season batting average comes in down in the 240s. Oh, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. And he lays off the fastball away, so it's two and two now. Into the windup, here comes the two two pitch. Outside and a full count, three and two. One out, nobody on. Pulled pretty badly there as he reaches to poke this one foul. Another payoff pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. The payoff pitch one more time. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And look out as that fastball ran in and got him. Ouch, man. Well, this home crowd didn't like this guy the mound before, but now they really don't like him. He's gotten the faithful all worked up by hitting one of their best hitters early on in this game. And you can bet he's really going to hear it if he comes around to score. Here's Juan Ligares. He comes into play with a batting average in the respectable 270s. Runners on first with one down. A good knee-high changeup taken for a strike. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. Drilled to first, and he'll take this over to the bag for the out, but meanwhile, the runner moves into scoring position at second. Stepping into the box, Matt Harvey, and a chance now to increase his lead if he can deliver something here with two gone. And he misses two and one. Well, these are just extra pitches that are just going to add to your pitch count. He's not trying to work around him, and no reason to, but sometimes you just lose the strike zone for no apparent reason. And he comes back with a pitch right down the middle for strike two. We're in the second, one nothing Mets early on. Swing and a little blooper to center. And that's going to fall for a base hit. The runner scores from second. 
Two outs of the pitcher at the plate, more often than not, you're going to get out of the Look inning. But he was determined. Second Stayed base with base. it and got okay. the base hit. Not getting him today with two outs. Into the box, Jose Reyes on the ground softly towards second and the second baseman will just tag the runner going by and the inning is over so one run on one hit no errors and a runner left we'll go now to the top of the third the Mets lead this one two to nothing now in the box Tom Kohler nine one and two due up One and two. Well, he doubled up on that slider, so that tells me he's really feeling it at this point in the game. Good chance we'll see a heavy dose of that slider as this start continues. This is just great pitching. They start him off with the slider to get the strike, and then they bust him in with a fastball. I don't know what he's thinking up there, but they really are messing with his mind right now. So we got him looking there. Tom Kohler is retired to start the third. Second baseman, G. Gordon. Here's D. Gordon now. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Three and no count. Here it comes. And that one right down Main Street. Four pitches, all takes. He's showing a lot of patience here. And I like that from a guy like him, Eddie. He can do a lot of damage on a base pass with his legs. So there's no reason for him to get overly aggressive if he's not getting anything to handle. That's so difficult to hit. Hard fastball and a nasty curveball. You just have to sit on one or the other and hope he throws the one you're looking for. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Nimmo is right there as he takes it for the second out. Now batting. Center fielder. Christian in is Christian Yelich. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now a fastball that just misses here as the count moves to two and one. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning. Yeah, Matt, that's a great point. If this two hitter finds a way on, it really sets up the very good middle. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Miami down in order. They trail it here two to nothing. Ready for another chance. Brandon Nimmo. He drew a walk his first time up. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Hit hard to short. Echeverria's there. And he's retired here one away. Digging in for his second at bat as Drew Cabrera. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Hard hit ball to second. Gordon is there. On to first, and Cabrera's a ground out victim. Two away. The left fielder number 52. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Joanna Cespedes. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. Mets go down one, two, three, as they're unable to add to their 2 nothing lead. Back with Harold Reynolds and Dan Fleesack, Matt Vaskersian, and leading off the inning, the big right-handed slugger Giancarlo Stanton. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hard hit ball to second. Right there is Reyes. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Now batting. The first base. Now batting. Justin, Justin Bohr. Bohr. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hey. 
swing and a high pop up back onto the outfield grass now. And there to bring it in is Cabrera for route number two. Now batting. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Two away in the inning, and then it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. One, two, three go the Marlins. They trail things here two to nothing. Digging in to try it again. Wilmer Flores comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. One and one here it comes. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Yelich is under it. One away. Now batting. First baseman. And that brings up the catcher T.J. Rivera. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the 1 and 2 delivery. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2 and 2. Now here it comes. This one's blooped out toward right center field. In there, a base hit. Riding in once again, now Travis Darno. No official at bat Travis. for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And a fastball not close. It's 2-1 and one now. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Called strike two. Two balls, two strikes. Two and two count. Here it comes. Chopped weakly to the left. To second for one. Return throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two and it gets him out of the inning. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. We're back with more on this Saturday night after this. Stepping up to the plate, JT Real Muto. He'll begin things here against Matt Harvey. Fly ball out toward left center field. After it is Cespedes. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Now batter. Third base At the batter. plate, Martin Prado. Prado. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. That's his first base hit. Make him 1 for 2 now. Around first, digging for 2. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with the single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores it. Then who knows what kind of roll they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Standing in now, Adani Echevarria. Darno waits on it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. Stepping in, the Tom batter. Kohler Pepper. comes into this at bat Tom 0 for 1 Kohler. in the ball game. No runs, three hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind 1 and 2. Boy, Matt, he's in some kind of groove, and they better get something working because he is one pitch away from throwing five shutout innings. Talk about dominant work so far. Now another 1-2. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Marlins leave one. They're down two to nothing. At the plate, Juan Ligaris. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Mind to the right side. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. 
Well, that's what you want. The guy in front of the pitcher leads off the inning with the hit. Now it's time to play some baseball. Are you going to bunt him over? Are you going to hit and run? Are you going to steal? What are you going to do? It gets fun now. Into the box now. Matt Harvey. Now a bunt attempt here. And he'll pounce on this quickly to tag him out. The batter number seven. Ready for another baseman. shot now. Jose okay. Reyes. Over for 1 with a run scored thus far. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Reyes awaiting the 3-1. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Gordon able to get there on to first, and there were two down. And here's the former first round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Taken, strike two called, and it's even at 2 and 2. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Line drive to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that ends the inning. Mets leave one. They're up two to nothing. Here's D. Gordon now. And Dan, he and his fellow top of the order hitters haven't really offered much help for this lineup so far. No, your one, two, three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action. And they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. This is line to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the leadoff man reaches in their half of the sixth. So a solid single to left and that gives him a multi hit game here tonight and as you have a look there at the Marlins leaderboard you can see he currently ranks second in that department. In is Christian Yelich leadoff man on base and we'll see what they have in mind strategy wise here. Ready to deal here's the one one he takes it to the opposite field high and deep to left and that's in for a base hit make it a one for three games so far. Now the relay home is in time and he's cut down at the plate as they team up to gun him down. Hey, he's trying his hardest to help his guys get back in the game, but this time he had no shot. Applaud the hustle, but the decision was a costly one. In now, Giancarlo Stanton. 1-1 one, one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. Tell you what, his spot has been the outside pitch right there. And now we're late in the game, and he continues to pound the outside pitch. And it's really working out for him. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Well, it's been a rough series for him at the plate so far. That's four strikeouts in the first two games, so this pitching staff clearly has him figured out. Stepping in now, Justin Bohr, as he loops under the ball and pops it up. Darno is under it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. One left for Miami. They're still down. It's 2 nothing. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. He's 0 for 1 thus far. One one pitch coming now to Cabrera. One and two now. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really worked. Here's the left fielder, Yoannis Cespedes. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. 
Yeah. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Line towards center field. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Ready for another shot now. Wilmer Flores. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. And a 2 1 slider is looked at for a called strike two. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. Lined foul right over the Mets dugout. Well, he got a piece of that breaking ball right there. That's the second one he's seen in a row now, and he fouled that one off. Let's see if he comes back with a third three in a row. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. Hey, not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Boy, and he just won't go away as he fights off another pitch and hits it foul right at the plate. The 3-2 one more time. But he won't draw a throw. That's taken for ball four, and it's first and second now with one away. Well, he battled to get it to a 3-2 count, but that pitch wasn't even close. Now he's got a man on with one out, so he's got to focus on trying to get the ground ball. Well, now the Miami manager's up out of the dugout and on his way out to the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. Brian Ellington takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. T.J. Rivera will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. Decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Ozuna is under it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now batting. Ready for another Jackson. chance? Travis Darno. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. Looks like a left-hander up and throwing now in that Marlins bullpen. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. Let's go, Travis. Two one. Here it is. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Two runs, four hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. That was a changeup, so there really wasn't any intent behind it. Looked to me like it just slipped out of his hand a little bit. That'll happen sometimes because of the grip of that straight changeup. On the ground to the right side. On to first, and the Mets are going to come up empty here as that ends the inning. No runs, a hit, two left. We're through six full. It's the Mets two, and the Marlins nothing. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Ready once again, Marcelo Zuna. He struck out twice thus far, so we'll see if he can fare any better here. Called strike that time, and it's even at two and two. Well, this offense finds themselves struggling right now, and they're down a few runs. They got to try to manufacture, get somebody on, maybe hit and run, and then you look for the big ball. Looks like right now, everybody's swinging for the downs. They got to turn it around a little bit, play a little small ball, get it going. And another foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. Hit slowly back to the mound. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now batting, catcher. So striding forward Real now, Muto. JT Real Muto. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. And he pulled up in time, but it's a cold strike two. 
Ready on one and two. Oh, he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. Well, you could tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. Into the box, Martin Prado. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Ligara's on the run. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Miami down in order. They trail things here two to nothing. Digging in and looking for more, Juan Ligares. One for two on his line so far in the game. Here's the one and one delivery. Swing and a high pop up back onto the outfield grass now. There is Hechevarria. He's got it for the first down. Digging in to try it again, Matt Harvey. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. A good knee-high changeup taken for a strike. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Lifted in the air to center field. Yelich is under it. Two gone. The batter number seven, Stepping in and ready for front. another shot. Jose Reyes. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Now Reyes awaits the 1-1. One -one. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two swing and a high pop up toward the stands behind third and he'll get there to make the catch right next to the tarp down in order go the Mets but they're on top two to nothing here's Echeverria now third trip to the plate for him here tonight 0 for 2 at this point. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. Very brisk pace to the ball game thus far. 2 nothing our score as you get a look there at the line score to this point in the contest. Derek Dietrich will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 32, Derek Dietrich. Bases are empty, one man out. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Into the box now, D. Gordon. And he puts it on the ground to second. Reyes is there. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So they go quietly here in this half inning. Home half of the eighth, straight ahead. The Mets are out on top, two to nothing. Sean Gilmartin is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Sean Gilmartin. And here's the former first round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Line drive to left. 
And that's a base hit. So a chance for some important insurance here to kick off the bottom of the eighth. Well, wow, there's so many things that came into that. He made an adjustment, but choked up on the bat, couldn't quite get that ball in on him, and he's strong enough to fight it off and throw it out there for the base hit. I love the adjustment. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Well, it's two and one now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. In the dirt here. No advance here, but it's three and one now. Three and one, here it is. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. Well, I don't know what he was sitting on right there, but that's the pitch you want. You're heading the count, and you get a fastball right there, middle in. I don't know. I'd have had a swing at that. He's running towards second. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. He's set. Here's the three and two. And Cabrera's going to have himself a base hit. I love running the guy in the 3-2 count. You know the pitcher's going to be around the plate. If you got a guy that can handle the bat like this guy right here, you put the ball in play, and now you get the base hit on top of it, and you're sitting first and third. Beautiful. Digging in, Joannis Cespedes. He singled his last time up. Runners at the corners here, nobody out. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. This is where you got to pitch to the strikeout. Infield's drawn in. You don't want contact. You want to make him swing and miss. Throw the nastiest stuff you have. Goes down and gets it as this is bounced to short. Dive, but it's off his glove, and the run should score. Ah, but the throw is too late as he gave it all he had, but that'll be scored as an infield single. Well, that's a big base hit right there. Now you got a three-run lead. You always play to beat that bloop and that blast that can hurt you late in the game, and now they've got that cushion. Spin and a throw back to second, and the runner will get back standing. In now, Wilmer Flores. He swings and drives at the short, and that's through into left field for a base hit. And no sense risking anything here as the bases will be loaded now with still nobody out. He found himself in a great hitter's count. Pitcher tried to trick him with a changeup, and he still got a base hit. I think he was looking for that changeup. Brad Ziegler is summoned in the toughest situation a reliever can face. Bases loaded, nobody out. T.J. Rivera will stand in against the new pitcher, and he couldn't ask for a better scenario as he stands in with the bases loaded and nobody out. Here's the 1-1. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Well, when the pressure starts to intensify, it often feels like the strike zone gets harder and harder to hit. This is a big spot here. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. No reason to sit on anything other than the hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. Has to challenge him now. Here's the pitch. This is lined into left field, and he delivers a big base hit. One run is scored. Well, that's a big hit. Late in the game, that puts you up four runs. What happens late in the game now with a four-run lead? A grand slam can't beat you if you happen to give one up. That's a big run. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right-hander is up and throwing. 
Stepping in now, Travis Darno. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Juan Ligaris is on deck. From the belt, the pitch. This is lined into left field, and he delivers a big base hit. One run scores. Now it's cut off, a throw to the plate. A tag, and they get him at the plate as one run scores, but not the second. Center fielder, number 12. Juan. Riding in Ligaris. once again, Juan Ligaris. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Outside, 2 and 1. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. Softly hit down to third, likely no shot at two. To Gordon for one. But one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. The pitcher, number 33, Matt Harvey. Now with the plate, Matt Harvey. A hit in two tries so far. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Here's the one and two delivery. And he strikes him out here so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So they pick up three runs on six hits. No errors and a couple of men left. We've played eight full. The Mets lead it five to nothing. The seven train making its stops just outside City Field as we welcome you back inside for the remainder of baseball on the show. In is Christian Yelich. And Dan, what's gone wrong for this lineup today? They're only three outs away from being shut out. Boy, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching, but the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. Right fielder. Want to remind John you folks Carmel that coming up after Green the ball game, comprehensive highlights from the contest tonight as we look back on all the action right here on the show. Giancarlo Stanton now. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. One out, nobody on. Swing and a looper to left. Here comes Cespedes. And that's the second out of the inning. Stepping in, Justin Bohr. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. On his way to pitch number 100. Swing, and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. And he holds up on this one, but it's a cold strike three. And with that, the ball game is over. Wow, not only are complete games rare in this day and age of Major League Baseball, but a complete game shutout. This guy was in total command from the first inning through the ninth. Totally dominant in this one. A 5 nothing finish tonight. The New York Mets win their 40th game in front of the home crowd this year. Matt Harvey earns his fifth winner of the year, striking out 12 in the process. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Five runs, ten hits, no errors. The long pause. Now the kick. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a slider. He has tied the major league record for strikeouts in a game with 20 strikeouts. Randy Johnson, Kerry Wood, Roger Clemens, and now Max Scherzer.
of the only pitchers in the history of this game to fan 20 in a game. Ground ball to short. This should end it. Lindor sets. He throws. And the Cleveland Indians of 2016 have set the franchise record with their 14th 